to Mississippi now, where the governor, Tate Reeves, has declared a state of emergency amid concerns that flooding could inundate part of the state's largest city. People in Jackson, Mississippi, are being urged to evacuate at this hour as dangerously high rivers, rivers threaten to flood streets and homes. Carter Evans is tracking the extreme weather there in Mississippi and other states. If you are capable of getting out now, get out now. Get out as soon as possible. Urgent warnings as the Pearl River near Jackson, Mississippi begins to overflow. Persistent rain this past week caused the river to rise, and now at least 100 homes could face flooding. We went through the flood in 2020. Oh, never thought it happened this quick. Anitra and Mickey Holder lost their home in the last major flood two years ago and just finished rebuilding. Now they're worried they'll have to do it all over again. Our whole home was flooded out. We had to have our whole house gutted inside out. In Minnesota, gusts up to 85 miles per hour sent tree branches flying across streets and into buildings. Officials near the Twin Cities say four tornadoes briefly touched down over the weekend, causing a trail of destruction. In the west, the Rum Creek fire near Medford, Oregon, nearly doubled in size yesterday, growing to more than 10,000 acres. The fire is burning in a remote area, making it tough for firefighters to gain control. Steep terrain, tall timber, heavy fuels, the river, there's a lot going on. Crews are relying heavily on air support to fight the flames, which have already destroyed several structures and forced hundreds to evacuate. Officials say 25-year-old firefighter Logan Taylor died while battling the blaze after being struck by a falling tree. For CBS Mornings, Carter Evans, Los Angeles.